I'm sorry, big guy, you can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Are you okay? Your face, sir. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know why. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. He found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry to me. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. <sighs> don't worry about it, Flycatcher. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. He told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. There's no way they'll be okay with this, though. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh... Just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. <laughs> Read the sign. Guys, open up. It's the sheriff. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Brent, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix You it. think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Brent, really, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. And anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I wanna clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I'm not going to hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. I'm running out of time, Grand. 
Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing? Whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Thanks for that. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Just here for Lily's things, Holly. Uh, go back to sleep. Big B. Bar's closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. Getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. 
Andy Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. 